Hello, and welcome to a spooky episode of I Review Ramen Noodles. Today, the spooky ramen we're trying is none other than this. This is the Devil of Fire, and yes, I've done it before, but this is a newer version. This is the stir-fried version. Devil of Fire ramen. The big difference, of course, is no broth, and instead it's just a thicker sauce that you stir fry after you boil the noodles. Also, the ones that has the soup on it, on the label says that it's 14,440 Scoville heat units. This package has nothing on it that says that. However, on the back, it has a big picture of a Carolina Reaper, which says it's the spiciest ramen in the world. And that a Carolina Reaper has between 150 and 200,000 Scoville heat units. That's how spicy the pepper is. But is that how spicy the noodles are? We shall find out. And by we shall find out, I mean very quickly after I take the first bite, we will know. I got this in the same package as when I purchased the last video that I reviewed a spicy ramen, the Great King uh, style, which I only took a few bites of, then I stopped because I wasn't feeling great after the few bites. And I gotta tell you, I'm happy that I stopped there because there was some pain afterwards, but it was controlled and not long lived. So, will this one be spicier than that one? Because that one was spicier than the soup version of this one. Still not the spiciest ramen I've ever had, but it's definitely up there. Where will this one rank? Let's find out. First, let's take some more. I've already had some of this, but I'm going to have more of this. Just some sparkling water. Um, hopefully help me not get the hiccups. So, in this package, it says to boil the noodles remove most of the water. It says leave eight spoons. And then you add this packet, which had like a blackish red uh, goop in it. And when I mixed it up in the pot and stir fried it, it got more light red. So then I mixed it up and I put this packet on top, this one had seaweed and other little sesame seeds and crunchy bits. Um, what I will tell you is that the smell of this hasn't given me any of those like warning smells that the other one did where it's like I can smell that distinctive ghost Carolina Reaper pepper smell that kind of st starts turning your stomach sour already. I didn't get that. But also, after adding this packet, look how much toppings that are in there. It even has like these really big, chunky crispies. And they smell fishy. They smell like seaweed. So overall, the bowl smells really seaweedy and not spicy. But I know. There's going to be at least some spice in here that's going to harm my face and other parts of my body. Okay. <coughs> Let's get ready. Here's the first bite. Cheers to you all. Definitely spicy. By the way, how do you like the, the lighting of this video? I have like a small light right underneath this bowl shining upwards to make myself look spooky. And I'm wearing this old hat that I have. 
if you've been a long time viewer of this channel, you'll recognize this as the hat I was wearing on my very first review way back, I believe, in 2015. Um, I originally got the hat as part of a Halloween costume to look like Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. And I thought uh, it would look pretty spooky being black and lit up from behind, so it's really black and undefined. It just looks kind of like a black silhouette. Okay. So this one, you can definitely tell by my reaction, not as spicy as the the Great King one, where my, my mouth was instantly in pain. <coughs> I'm not saying this is not spicy. Like, if you look at the picture, look at that picture, it almost looks like it's like in like a reaper paste. And you can see, like, there's not much liquid in here at all. So it's not really watered down. Is it spicy? Yes. It's probably more towards the original one. It's around 14,000. I would say probably even less than that. Maybe even less than 10,000. Um, experiences that I've had so far tells me that when spicy ramen has a broth, it's just more intense than if it is a stir-fried. Mm. I'm starting to get that Reaper ghost pepper flavor. Um, I gotta say, is kind of unpleasant in what it reminds me of this kind of situation. So, here's what I'm going to tell you about this bowl. Excuse me. And going on in the future, my spicy reviews are just going to be that. They're going to be reviews. They're not going to be challenges where I challenge myself to finish the bowl. And for the most part, that has... Uh, uh, there's a health issue involved. Um, I haven't really got anything diagnosed. However, I have experienced the last couple times where I've eaten a bowl of something that's super spicy, um, extreme stomach cramping, and uh, painful exits, we'll say, um, which can be irritating. And this one... If I, if I had to, and let's say like this YouTube channel was actually something that I made money off of, I would do a challenge and I could probably finish this. No issue at all. It's, it's uh, way less spicy than the Great King one was. It is... Spice, it's less spicy than the 3X for sure. Um, it's probably the same spice level as the 2X one. Uh, the, the updated 2X one, which is about 12,000, 13,000. Uh, I'm not going to finish this. I'll tell you that, to be honest. The, uh, the specific flavor in here of that uh, Carolina Reaper... Is it like, <coughs> excuse me, it's triggering like a, a definite like a, a memory response where my body's like, oh, you shouldn't do this. This will be my last bite. But like I said, I could definitely finish this, um, but I want to have a regular lunch today. 
So I'm not going to finish this. It is spicy, but it's right around the updated 2x spicy. I'm going to say probably around 12 to 14,000. Definitely something if you've done the 2x or the 3x, you can do this easily. But I'm not going to do that today. Uh, so the uh, the Great King one that I had in my last video, um, that one is definitely something that's a little upper echelon. They say it's 21,000. Um, I f feel like it was more than that. Uh, starting to get that point where the spice level kind of like messes with your train of thought. Um, so, I'm just going to go into the ending part of this video. Thank you for watching up to now. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Um, we'll see you on the next one. Do you like my hat? Bye.